Google is making a big change to its Bard AI chatbot. It's going to be called Gemini now. And this isn't just a simple name change, though. Google is doing a lot more with Gemini. They're planning to launch a special app for it. And this app will have some advanced features, but you'll have to pay to use these. All right, so Gemini is what's known as a large language model, or LLM for short. It's the brain behind the Bard chatbot. Over the past few months, Google has been working hard to add new things to Gemini. One of the cool new features is that it can now create images. This is a big step forward for the chatbot. Dylan Roussel, who develops apps for Android, shared some information about these changes. His post seems to match what 9 to 5 Google reported earlier. Together, these sources make it pretty convincing that Bard is going to become Gemini. A leaked photo that came with Dylan's post shows a list of changes dated February 7th, 2024. It talks about the new name and gives us a glimpse of what's coming next. One of the interesting things in the list is the mention of an advanced version powered by something called Gemini Ultra. It seems like Gemini Ultra is even more powerful than OpenAI's GPT-4. GPT-4 is what runs ChatGPT Plus and Microsoft Copilot. So, Gemini Ultra could be a big deal, but there's a catch. To use Gemini Ultra, you'll need to pay. Google says Gemini Ultra is really good at doing hard tasks. It can reason logically, help with coding, understand complex instructions, and work creatively with you. Google isn't stopping there. They have plans to make Gemini Ultra even better. They want it to be able to analyze files, data, and documents in more depth. The Gemini app is another important part of Google's plans. It's going to be available for Android phones. Google thinks this app will change how we learn things, help us write thank you notes, plan events, and do a lot more, all using Google's AI technology on our phones. Google also plans to link Gemini with other services they offer, like Gmail, Maps, and YouTube. Android users will get a special app for Gemini. If you have an iPhone, you'll be able to use Gemini through the regular Google app. All these changes show that Google is really serious about improving AI and making it a big part of our daily lives. Now let's talk about why this is exciting and important. First, the change from Bard to Gemini is more than just a new name. It's a sign that Google is updating and improving its AI technology. This means we can expect more advanced and helpful features in the future. The introduction of the Gemini app is especially interesting. With this app, Google's powerful AI will be right in our pockets. However, it's important to note that the most advanced features of Gemini, those powered by Gemini Ultra, won't be free. This is similar to other services like ChatGPT+, where you pay for the most advanced features. The good news is that these features are expected to be really powerful. Google says Gemini Ultra can handle complex tasks and even creative collaboration. That means it could help with things like writing code or coming up with creative ideas. The integration of Gemini with other Google services is another big step. Imagine using Gemini to help write emails in Gmail, find places on Maps, or even interact with YouTube videos. This could make using these services much more interactive and personalized. For Android users, having a dedicated Gemini app is great, but even if you use an iPhone, you won't be left out. You'll be able to access Gemini through the existing Google app. This shows that Google is committed to making its AI accessible to as many people as possible. So the transformation of Bard into Gemini marks a significant step in the evolution of Google's AI services. With the launch of the Gemini app and the introduction of the advanced Gemini Ultra, Google is expanding the capabilities and accessibility of AI in our daily lives. Whether it's for learning, writing, planning, or creative collaboration, Gemini is set to become a more integral part of how we interact with technology. The move to a paid model for the most advanced features reflects a growing trend in the AI industry, where premium capabilities come at a cost. Nevertheless, the integration of Gemini across Google's ecosystem promises a more seamless and powerful AI experience for users worldwide, regardless of the device they use. All right, that wraps up our video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.